this is Eric Smith. I thought I would do a quick look on a verse from 1 Samuel chapter 8. Um, it's verse 3, and it's a very grieving verse, but at the same time, we can learn two things from this verse, and I hope it would be edifying, even though the content of the verse itself is, um, it talks about something that's really bad, it's not too great. This is the Word of God. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes, and perverted judgment. This verse is talking about the sons of Samuel. He was a prophet of God, and he was the last true judge of Israel. And Samuel had passed on the mantle of being judge to his two sons. But this verse says, and his sons walked not in his ways. Well, Samuel's ways were righteous. They were holy. He was a man of God. He proclaimed God's word. Um, he was foretelling uh, future events for God. And he judged Israel rightly. But his sons didn't follow after him. And here's the three things his, son, his sons did that were grieving and sinful. First, they turned aside after lucre which means they were chasing after money. They were greedy. They would do anything for money. They were wicked in that respect. And it says, and took bribes. And bribes is pretty clear cut. They would take payment, and for that payment, they would do whatever that person would want them to do for the payment. We see that happens today, where people take bribes. And it says, and perverted judgment. And this is the most important thing. They were to be righteous judge judges, excuse me, and they perverted judgment. They didn't judge rightly. And God says in his word, if you're a believer in him, if you're a believer in the true and living God, you need to judge by the truth of God's word, and you need to do it with all wisdom and knowledge, and you should do it rightly. But Samuel's sons didn't do any of these uh, things correctly. They were greedy after money, they took bribes, and they perverted judgment. And later on in this chapter, that was the catalyst for the nation of Israel saying, hey, we don't want your sons to judge us. We want a king after the other pagan lands. Now, that's for another quick look later on because that was silly in itself. But in this particular verse, here's two things I want to talk about. The first thing is, as a man of God, you need to judge rightly as God's man. You need to be upright in everything you say and do. And this verse shows us that you you can be a supposed man of God and do all the wrong things. We have to make sure if we're in ministry, any type of ministry today, whether you're a pastor, a teacher, you're doing Sunday school or anything, you need to do it uprightly. The second thing is the first part of the verse which says, and his sons walk not in his ways. Christian parents, you can teach your children the word of God and teach it rightly, but there's a chance they may not be saved. They may not trust the Lord Jesus Christ, and they may not walk in your godly ways. Please do not be discouraged about that. Bring them up in the Lord, and let the Lord save them. But if they don't walk in the ways of God, if you're doing everything you're supposed to do, like Samuel did when he brought his sons up in the Lord, you have nothing to be ashamed of. That sin is upon Samuel's sons. So this is 1 Samuel chapter 8 verse 3. I just wanted to point out those two things. As Christians, let's make sure that we're giving the gospel to our children and that we're bringing them up in the Lord. But if they don't follow after the Lord, we don't need to be downtrodden and feel bad about it in respect of, did we do the right thing? Well, if you did the right thing, keep praying for your children and pray that they do the right thing. The second thing is, if you are a man of God or you profess to be a man of God or even a woman of God, Make sure you're not like Samuel's sons. Don't chase after money, take bribes, and pervert judgment. As always, if our videos have been an encouragement to you and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky, please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, remember something. We need to bring our children up in the Lord. But if they don't follow the Lord, let's take the lesson from this verse and know that we need to walk rightly, even if our children aren't walking rightly. Thank you for listening. 
thank you for watching and god bless.